Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We return to this ziggurat that we are tackling. Doing pretty well so far. Knock on wood and all that. Uh, yeah. I've found some interesting stuff. Nothing too game-breaking, but a few good things. Um, one thing I did decide while, uh, in between recordings here was that we can drop the Fan of Gales, and we can drop, uh, a few other things that we have access to otherwise. Um, such as, what was I going to drop? Um... La -da -da -da. Oh, well, drop the Fan of Gales, because we have, we have more of those elsewhere, and uh, I don't really anticipate us needing it in this cigarette. Actually, we might need it in this cigarette. Um, hmm. What else do we have around? I'm trying to think of things that we have... Uh, uh, other sources of teleport control... Yeah, there's another ring of, of teleport control somewhere, and I'm, I, you know, rings of teleport control aren't that great for us anyway, because we don't have points and evocations. Okie dokie. Are we good? I think we're good. We're getting close to the point where I'm going to just call it off and back out. Ah, things wandering about here. This is interesting. I wonder why they decided to venture away from their little corner of things. Various non-threatening demons. Slash devils. Nice that they're all kind of waltzing in one at a time. Less efficient to deal with them all this way. Less efficient than, say, blasting them all with Firestorm. But it preserves our mana a bit. What did we summon here? An Etten Skeleton. Oh boy, ziggurats are just so much fun. I like them. Very cool feature of the game. High risk, high reward. My kind of stuff. Actually, I'm, I'm very risk averse in this game, but... Uh, the rewards of a ziggurat are, in fact, enough that greed outweighs my prudence. Doi, do doi, doi, doi. Uh, I suppose we could just back up and... I was going to say regain our mana, but things keep wandering over towards us, which is fine. It's making this one of the easier ziggurat levels we've faced so far. Only having to deal with things one at a time. Although, Firestorm has been more than pulling its weight. Massive AoE damage? I'll take it. Though we do need to be careful not to nuke a whole bunch of greater mummies all at once. That would be probably fatal. Ooh, we have some interesting things here. Scroll of Identify is good. That lets us... Uh, a heavily ruined lapis lazuli rune. A slimy large shield. Ooh. Delicious. Uh, we don't need a ring of protection from cold. Ever, really. Hmm, 
and ba 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 ba. Staff of air, not particularly useful. Ooh, book of the dragon. Summoning, not good enough to memorize it. We won't, we won't mess with it here in the, in the midst of things. Um. Pick up this ring. So we have at least a couple of things to identify here. Stasis, resist poison, dexterity, plus three. Um, stasis is an interesting effect. It's interesting enough that I want to keep it. It's not necessarily good. It prevents you from teleporting or going berserk. Uh, but that being said, uh, usually when you want to teleport... Usually you want to be able to teleport when you need it and not have to, you know, switch something out. Okay. Um, Let me do some very quick research here on this obsidian axe and see... Uh, but up, up, is evil. It, is, it mesmerizes the user if any hostile monster is present, and it has a 10% chance of summoning a friendly common demon. Hmm. Oh, so you can't move away from the monster. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like it's fine, but I don't know that we'll ever use it. I don't know. It's it's just so cool. The unranned arts are neat. We won't, however, be using this robe ever. Armor class is too important to us, I think. All right. Let's see. Scrolls of remove curse. Scroll of identify. All right. Let's read the scroll of identify on this ring. Ice, strength plus four, dex plus two. Probably won't ever use that. Plus one large shield, smozex. Int plus three is good. I like int plus three. Let's see, strength 32, shields 44. Okay, so 51, 21, 44. 51, 21, 44. 51, 20, 57. So plus 13 shields minus 1 evasion seems fine for plus 3 intelligence. We lose a reflection, which is a little bit less damage there, but yeah, the I think the spell power is worth it. Yeah, that seems fine. So we'll go ahead and use that. I probably want to hang on to uh, this... Um, other shield, though. Keep going with our Pearl Dragon armor. It's up to plus 6 now, I guess. Yeah. can go all the way up to plus 10, which is awesome. 53 armor class is pretty sweet. And our guaranteed damage reduction is quite, quite good as well. So we're going to be generally reducing at least 26 damage from any physical melee or ranged attack. Oh, and what was that ring? That, oh, it was a ring of ice. We don't want that. We're never going to be casting ice spells, so we can just get rid of it. I mean, it's an artifact, it's cool, but it's not good enough for us to spend inventory slots on it. Leather armor. We'll take it with us. Maybe it will be useful someday. I don't know. Probably not. Okie dokie. I believe it is time to travel onward. I'm going to do maybe two more levels. We have some 
discretion in that we can uh, um, we can use one of these many scrolls of blinking that we have acquired to just sort of dash behind monsters. Wow, if this is just spider's nest stuff, this will be a, a very easy level for us. Especially since at any time we can slouch to kill basically all of them. Plus Venom actually works against them, etc, etc. Oh, we've been drained of magic. Swell. Oh well. The Orb of Destruction blew up something else, which is a plus. Though they are starting to stack up here. Not that we're too terribly concerned. Our shield is most likely to block them anyway. We can just slouch and kill some of these guys. Uh, don't have a good way to kill these guys, but that's fine. We can just kind of wait until our mana gets back up here. Unless this ghost moth stares at us and drains her. Again, this is why it's nice to have some form of non-spell damaging attack. Magic drain is quite similar to silence in many respects. Namely, you can't cast spells. Really not worried about these critters. Slouch, probably still the most efficient method to deal with them, maybe? I don't know. If you'll notice, we're not exactly taking a ton of damage from these guys' uh, orbs of destruction here. There we go. Nice to have a fairly easy fight this late in the ziggurat. Or at least easy for us. I'm sure this would be problematic for some characters. But not we. Not us. Yeah, not us. That's appropriate. Things. Stuff. Artifact ring is cool. Our pack is full again. Of course. We are carrying around a ton of stuff here. Oh, did we ever identify that amulet? Yeah, that's right, stasis. It's pretty good. Two artifact rings. Swell. Wish we'd find a uh, an evening star. That would be awesome. We could put to use all of these... Um, all these crazy scrolls that we got stacking up here. What can we drop slash use? Uh, let's drop this scroll of vulnerability. We probably won't ever want to use it. All right, onward. Powerful magical force warping space is interesting. Uh, da, 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 lots of small, fast things. We're more or less immune to them. Not entirely, but largely. Things that don't do more than 26 damage in melee can't actually hurt us, so... We can be a little more efficient about this, I suppose.
rather than just waiting to get punked on here. You can be proactive. A couple of easy rooms in a row, it feels like. I'm expecting greater mummies any second now. Oh, Spriggans, hello, Spriggans. Huh. Are actually doing some damage to me, which is impressive. Oh, anti magic, huh? Anti magic isn't great. Oh, we're casting the Abyss, though. That's convenient. Little silly sounding. <laughs> But it does mean we get to rest and restore our resources. Though we do have to wait for... Well, I guess we don't have to wait for it. Uh, we have a Wand of Digging. I was about to say, we have to wait for this uh, wall to reopen here. Ah, Luganu! Luganu is cool. Um, Abyssal Knights are a fun starting background. Uh, there we go. Lugan is cool. Lots of escape buttons, although not all that much in direct combat effectiveness. A couple of slouches there, taking care of business. And we'll just, we'll rain fiery death on those guys that can't be bothered to step close to us. Boom. Boom. I just like casting that spell so much. I didn't strictly need to cast it there, but... Not sure what's going on with this briar patch here, but... Probably the shambling mangrove. I believe it's mangrove, but... You can also say it mangrove as a kind of a pun. Fighting at level 23, which is nice. We still, we're not going to end up with that many hit points, sadly. Gargoyles suffer from that minus 20%. But, you know, whatever. Nothing doing. Using Auto Explorer to make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, an Oclob. Fortunately, Firestorm takes care of Aquabs pretty easily. Okie dokie, what do we have here? An artifact amulet, some scrolls, some staves, some rods, crossbow, don't care about it. Ooh, a book that we don't have yet. Oh, what can we get rid of? Uh, magic mapping, sure. What book is it? The Almanac of Creation. What's in the Almanac of Creation? Summon Lightning Spire is a cool spell, but we're not really going to have the spare levels to throw around at it, and it's air anyway, so it's not great. What is Summon Forest? That's kind of cool. Hmm. I wonder if there are other places to... Tame that spell. Hmm. Yeah, there are other avenues. I don't really need Summon Forest. Uh, 
There we go. Book of Minor Magic. Uh, we don't need anything from that. So the Book of Minor Magic is good. It's the wizard starting spell book here. Drink this potion of porridge. Creative combat magic. Uh, bleh. nah. Don't care. Force Lance is a good utility offensive spell. Let's put on this uh, amulet. Hmm, okay. So we have two amulets now that are split between Clarity, Conservation, and Resist Mutation and Warding. We would know if it was Gourmand. Doi 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 doi. Just so much loot. It's awesome. I love I love ziggurats. They're fun. Even when they're hard, they're fun. Let's get rid of this scroll of branding, I guess. We're basically only carrying it in case we find a an evening star that's suboptimally enchanted. And the odds of that aren't awesome, so. Alright, level 19. We're pushing our luck here. But I think we have enough survivability to... Um, uh, enough survivability to... Not have to worry too much about... Um, getting past monsters, at least to the exits. Ooh, Moth of Wrath needs to die. Eh, sure. I don't really care if we upset our allies. Worth it to keep the Moth of Wrath from just berserking everything willy-nilly. Javelin ear. I mean, Javelin's hurt. Certainly, but not super worried about him. This looks to be shoals and snake pit critters, which, uh, meh, not the worst. By any means. I am unsure as to whether the, the treasure is scaled with the difficulty of the monsters in the room, or if it's only with the depth of the room. I know it scales with the depth of the room. Later levels of a ziggurat are very lucrative. Stepping forward there so we can deal with this turtle that's just going to keep doing things to us that we don't like for quite some time. Turtles have reach, so... And I'm not particularly worried about the ability of any of these things to kill us, so we're fine. I mean, you'll notice we've taken a total of 60 damage in over the course of many, many turns. Let's kill the thing that's constricting us. Fire damage, level 21. Cool. Skills are getting up there. Stealth getting even more absurd. Stealth is great. It'll really help us in the hells, I think. Once we eventually venture there. Bash on the scorpion while we wait for the nagas to close. And then just tap attack them down. Not concerned. Few enough left, and we got a chance to rest, so we can just Lahudibs. Okay, auto explore, auto explore. Nice thing is, monsters tend not to be too inclined to pick up the treasure at the end of the ziggurat. 
be quite frustrating if they just looted it all before you could get there and said neener neener neener. Ooh, a scroll of acquirement. Cool. Ah, scroll of identify. Let's drop this. Get scroll of identify. Read said scroll of identify. Let's try it on this amulet. It's a bad amulet. They can't all be winners. Three scrolls of acquirement. Cool. Cool. Always acquire armor. Bad cloak. A glowing large shield. Ooh, fire resistance. Better than three intelligence, probably. And it is a plus two. Yeah, fire resistance is nice. Scroll of acquirement times three. Um, yeah, armor's still fine, although we could do a weapon. Uh do we want to do a weapon? I really like the weapon that we're using, so we'll, we'll stick with armor. A distressingly furry helmet. How many scrolls of remove curse do we have? Lots? Okay. MR plus strength plus three in plus one. That's really good. That leather armor is not, however... Is that it, really? Okay, well. Not the worst scrolls of acquirement ever, but certainly not the best. Ah, well. Six potions of cure mutation. Cool. Tons of mutation curing. Chainmail. Eh. Not awesome. Boy, do, 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 do. Mana plus nine is kind of cool. Of course, we won't know all of the effects of these rings right off. That will change in the next patch, but for now... Hard to say what they are. So let's stick with this. Yeah. Oh, we just have so much stuff. Oh, right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Cloak. Preservation. Don't really care about scroll of vulnerability. Uh, whatever. So much stuff. What boots are we wearing? Strength minus two, dex plus four, that seems fine. Book of Clouds is a cool book. Ring of Flames is good, I guess. I don't know. None of these seem super necessary, so we can get rid of it. I think Ring of Flames is findable in other places anyway. We could have been a little more efficient with this stuff, but whatever. Another helmet of Sea Invisible. We only need one. Okie dokie. I believe that's everything. 
Oh, those boots of jumping are kind of cool. Ten scrolls of blinking. That's awesome. Eh, don't need scrolls of fog for now. I suppose we could just back out. We are getting kind of near critical mass. Let's do one more level. Let's do one more. This will probably be our last one. Oh, wait. That was almost really bad. We don't care about this chainmail. Yeah, all right. Aklob. Surely that's not all. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pandemonium Lord. Well. Powerful demon, slender body, bat-like wings, seized with hatred of the living. The descriptions of the demons don't, I think, apply much to what they actually do, but it is interesting information to have. Ooh, two Pandemonium Lords. Poem. Three Pandemonium Lords. Yikes. Well, this is certainly a good place for Firestorm. <laughs> Lots of things happened just there. Ooh, Fire Vortex or Conjuration skill go on up. 25, nice. Still nothing at max, but that's fine. We can live with that. Um, let's get an aura of abjuration going. Feels like there are enough summoning things. Another, let's see what's going on with this. Oh, that's just a shoe. Another Pandemonium Lord. Shoe Rar. And Shoje. Wow. This is a really tough level. A lot of critters. Get some allies. Another Pandemonium Lord? How many is that? That's so many Pandemonium Lords. This is just stuffed full of Pandemonium Lords. This is a very, very risky level here. Um, we are frozen. I'm not sure what that means. Let's drink a potion of curing. Ow. Okay, let's read a scroll of blinking. Oh, we don't have control teleport. Oh, that was foolish. Oh, we could very well die here, dear viewers. Too many pandemonium lords. Huh. Ooh. Let's heal wounds and hope that it doesn't instantly kill us. Okay. Heal wounds again. Okay. Read a scroll of teleportation and hope that it gets us within range of the exit. Um, wow. Hubris. See, this is, this is why I should have left last, uh, last level here. Ugh, yikes. Let's drink a potion of resistance. Okay. Let's cast Firestorm here. Uh, 
Okay, good. Good. It got us out of the frying pan, at least. Oh, we're not going to be able to get very many of these cool things lying around here. Um, we can, however, retreat. Killer Clown sucker punches you, but does no damage. Okay. Okay, so... What we can do is cast Apportation a couple of times here. Um. Yeah, just getting some loot. And we are definitely going to just leave this ziggurat. I mean, it's, uh, it's certainly possible that there's stuff worthwhile here, but, or in the, in the next levels, but I mean, that was really scary. This level nearly killed us, just straight up. And I don't think it's worth uh, losing our life over a few trinkets. We eventually will clear a ziggurat. Today is not that day. Yes. Ah, ha, ha, we survived. All right. Let us retreat to our stash and do some identifying. And then we will discuss further options from there. Uh, this, this will be the substantive end of the video. It's just going to be identifying things, doing some stash work from here on out. So if you want to just wait until the next video to see what cool loot we got, that's fine. Otherwise, feel free to stick around. Alrighty. Oh, we do have other scrolls of identify. Okay. Control teleport, strength minus two, dex minus two. Int plus two C and biz. Okay, that's cool. Resist fire, mana plus nine, dex plus two. That's cool. Amulet of conservation. Amulet of resist mutation. Good. Resist mutation is excellent. All right. So, stash work. Okay, get rid of those scrolls. La -de 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 -de. What else are we carrying? Um, shields, helmets. I like our Shield of Fire Resistance. That's probably the best one of our shields. Would be my guess. Our Pearl Dragon Armor is awesome now. Way better than our Fire Dragon Armor. Still nets us one pip of resistance. Uh, gives us one negative energy instead of two fire minus one cold. Um, and its armor class is higher. Drop these cool non maces and flails weapons. All right, now that we have a place to drop off this manual of stealth without it being lost forever, we can just drop it off. Uh, what is in the Tome of Ashen Molding? Meh. Nothing really any good. Oh yeah, our five potions of cure mutation. That's excellent. 
We have an amulet of resist mutation. We have five potions of resist mu or cure, cure mutation. It's good stuff. Okay, so we have now a better C invisible ring, right? In plus two C invisible versus just C invisible. Okay. So we drop that. Uh, many of these other things are good. Let's let's uh, check out this control teleport ring. Uh, teleport control, 50% failure rate. Yeah, I don't feel like we're going to be using that very often. What else? Um, bum 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 bum. So we have resist fire and two accuracy two, or resist fire mm, nine mana points, two dexterity. And we could always put them both on. Hmm. What if? Let's see. Huh. Oh, uh, we have so many rings. This is the point of the game where... This is about the only point in the game where I think, gee, I wish I was an octopode. Because now I could wear all these cool rings all at the same time. And then I remember that octopodes are pretty bad, so... Or they're just... They're really hard to get going. What boots are we wearing? Oh, the strength minus two dex plus four ones? Meh. I kind of like the idea of wearing these boots of the assassin. Although that does drop our decks pretty low. Eh. Yeah, dexterity is better than strength. And probably better than whatever additional stealth that's giving us. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Yeah, cool. We'll keep those in mind. We may we may put those on when we go back to the tomb. Okay, helmets, helmets, helmets. Um, the fact that we have a ring of intelligence plus two and see invisibility is kind of nice, but it's not... I think the Helmet of Sea Invisibility is still more efficient for us. Like strength plus 4, dex plus 2 is fine, but we're, we're mostly a spellcaster at this point. Um, magic resist, strength plus 3, and plus 1 is fine, but we're getting more of a benefit out of any individual ring than magic resist and strength plus 3 and intelligence plus 1. So yeah, we can drop both of these. Okay, we're down to just a million rings and a bunch of potions. Okie dokie 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 doke. Alright. This seems good. Let's let's see if we can't narrow these rings down just a little further. Um Hmm. Nine mana points and two dexterity versus two intelligence, two accuracy. Nine mana points is a whole nother uh, is a whole nother firestorm, which is probably better than whatever incremental advantage two intelligence gives us. So let's uh, let's drop that. Um. Uh, Keeping the others... Oh, well, I guess since we're keeping this Helmet of Sea invisible, for now at least, we can drop this... Oops, drop this other Ring of Sea invisible. It's cool. Two Intelligence is a nice little boost to tack on to Sea invisible, but I would rather be using uh, more powerful rings than that. Which leaves us with this Ring of Wizardry, which we basically never want to take off. Although we can see, uh, 
All right, let's see how our spells look like with this. Okay, so let's put on this Amulet of Clarity and put on this good ring. Okay, now how are our spells? Okay, so Firestorm is still uncastable without Wizardry. So we basically always have to wear our Wizardry ring, which is fine because it also gives us a pip of resist cold. I mean, that's that's a, a good a good ring in general. The resist elect and resist poison are obviously not useful to us since we naturally possess those effects, but eh, you know, until we find something with wizardry and resist cold and something else or, you know, wizardry and two or more useful resistances, we have no need to switch off of it. Um, yeah, this seems good. Uh, the Amulet of Stasis is actually worth carrying with us in case we bump into um, creatures with Teleport Other. And then we can throw it on before the Teleport triggers so we don't have to worry about being whisked away to somewhere bad. Yeah. I mean, alternatively, we could just... Hmm. Teleport, slow, haste, or paralyze. Yeah. I don't know. Because an, an alternative method of blocking a, a, a hostile teleport is to read your own scroll of teleportation or use a wand of teleport on yourself. Your own teleportation effect, rather. So I don't think we need that, really. It is kind of fun for making stashes in a teleport trap. You just drop all of your items on the same spot. And since monsters never have a stasis effect, except maybe now formicids, if you see them as a monster. Anyway, it's, it's virtually impossible for a monster to get to your stash if you leave it on a teleport place. Keep the Amulet of Resist Mutation on us, since that's a very good effect, and one that we wouldn't mind swapping out for. The Clarity is better overall. I mean, for, for general crawling purposes. And that leaves us with uh, a way to boost our fire spells, a way to boost our overall mana, another source of cold resistance, and a source of Resist Mutation for our jewelry. That seems good. We have tons of food still. That's fine. Various potions, that seems good. Yeah, okay. So that was a fairly lucrative ziggurat run. We enchanted our pearl dragon armor plus five, so we got basically free five free additional permanent armor class. Shield of fire resistance is excellent. Large shield, making it even more so. Uh... That ring gives us additional mana. Finally got a source of resist mutation. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty profitable. We even got like a few random things like a potion of magic and a bunch more enchant weapon scrolls for if we ever, ever, ever find an evening star. We have 17 each of enchant weapon 1 and 2 and 7 enchant weapon 3. So um, that plus 7 scrolls of branding. Yeah, we could basically build our own uber weapon. Uh, since the one we're wielding now, yeah, resist fire, resist negative energy is nice, but there are other sources of that, whereas if we want to construct a giant, massive beating weapon, we can always carry it around in our inventory and just switch between it and this morning star, depending on the circumstance. So, yeah. Overall, good run. It was a lot of fun, too. It was very scary there at the end. Uh, level 20. <laughs> really kicked it up a notch with uh, the at least nine demon lords, or pandemonium lords that were hanging out in there. Yeah, it's pretty rough. But it does give me good, um, it does give me some confidence for returning to pandemonium and kicking some butt. Uh, how many spells, spell levels do we have? Seven spell levels? And what is it that we're wanting to do with our lives? 
We could get Haunt and focus summonings. I actually am kind of tempted to focus summonings anyway. Oh, yeah, let's turn off stealth since we're not carrying that manual around anymore. We'll, we'll probably do that again eventually once we've trained all our essential skills up. I just, you know, the manual was sitting in our inventory while we were going through the ziggurat there, and there was no reason not to use it while it was taking up an inventory slot anyway, since we're eventually going to want to exhaust it of its resources just because efficiency is nice. That being said, there's no reason to train it otherwise, because 17 levels in stealth is great. It's very, very good for us. In most circumstances, we'll be able to sneak up on things. Um, yeah, so from there, what we could do... I mean, we're close to maxing out conjurations anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Conjurations is at a good break point, so let's turn that off, turn on summonings, and focus it. Focus it and fire magic. Trickle into fighting and spellcasting. That seems reasonable. Get us up to the point where we can use Dragon's Call. Summoning a bunch of dragons seems good. Seems very good. And I want to be able to do it. Haunt also seems good. Yeah. So we will have, let's see, 24, eight more spell levels after this. So we will have to forget something. Probably apportation. Maybe regeneration. Iron Shot I like because its range is a little bit longer than Lehudib's full tile longer. And I like having various ranged capabilities. Yeah. Okay. This seems like it's pretty good setup for now. I may revise it when we get back, and I'm thinking about it again in a different light, but for now, seems good. We survived, which is excellent. Uh, I think the furthest I got on the ziggurat was 22, maybe? Might have been level 20. I don't know. It was it was roundabouts where we bailed this time. I, I would hate to think what lay beyond it. But, yeah, good run. It was fun. And so, uh, next time we'll probably go back to Pandemonium, try and clear that up, although we might also do the Hells. I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, uh, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.